Hello, today is Sunday and I am Bobby and Helen is very, very sorry about the bad accent and the fact that I am wearing socks on my face. Okay, I was planning this epic video of awesome, uh, while I'm here in Helen's house, I was going to, uh, demolish it, and then completely rebuild it all in one day, and I was going to film it, and it was just going to be epic, um, but I, uh, I made the mistake of mentioning this to Helen's parents, and they were not, uh, very pleased with it. If you would actually like to see me, Bobby, Booby, demolish stuff, uh, I will put a link definitely over in the sidebar. So I'm going to pass over to Helen for the rest of this video. Okay, so sorry about that. That was that was pretty bad. Uh, I, I apologize. I just want to quickly talk about um, Bobby's video yesterday, the real Bobby. Um, he brought up why do we do punishments and are we just doing it because other collab channels do it. Um, my thinking is um, punishments and challenges, it, you know, it's a way to have some different videos so it's not just the talking to the camera the whole time, it's a chance to be, for us to be kind of creative. That things are meant to be fun and it, you know, if, it, you know, if it's not enjoyable then, you know, just don't, don't worry about it because the main thing is to talk to each other and get to know each other. We love you, Bobby. Nikki, you asked a question um, a few weeks ago now, um, which I rudely ignored, so I'm going to answer that. Um, I think it was the most influential thing that happened to you, and it was definitely Vlogbrothers. I discovered them in January this year, uh, last year, and I watched their videos back to back in a couple of weeks. The, I, I really think that Vlogbrothers actually kind of changed my life in a way. Um, they made me like um, comfortable with who I am, they made me proud to be who I am. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Hedrick and the Angry Inch. Um, you can skip forward a little bit if you haven't seen it. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not going to say very much because I'm never articulate on camera. I'm going to write a blog about it, um, but I will say a bit now. The thing that sticks in my mind is the ending um, when you see Hedwig as the Tommy Notice character, you know, or done up in his image. Hedwig kind of thought of Tommy Notice as like her other half, what she wanted him to be, this other half um, to make that kind of circle complete, those two faces, two figures to come together. The bit where you see Tommy Notice and um, Hedwig facing each other and he kind of says goodbye and goes back, you know, in, into the background again, back to his show life um, and she's left standing there. I think it goes back to that, that mirror image. She realises that Tommy Gnosis isn't her other half, he's a reflection of her other half and that other half is already inside her um, because she created it, she created that image but the fact that she gives her wig away I think is um, important it's like she doesn't need that anymore because she kind of she understands herself Oh, that was the lamest, lamest, lamest explanation of a film ever. I'm really sorry. Wait, well, hey, man, you coming down too with our kid for a baby? Nikki, that was uh, me doing Geordie very badly. Um, for you, Adam, you're it. I think you should stroke your beard more often. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs>